Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's been on a lot of minds lately, especially if you're on a weight loss journey and using semaglutide. So if you've been asking yourself, why am I not losing weight on semaglutide? Stick around, because we've got some answers for you. First things first, let's talk about what semaglutide is. Semaglutide is a medication that's been making waves in the weight loss community. Originally developed for diabetes, it's now being prescribed for weight loss due to its effectiveness in helping people shed those extra pounds. But what happens when you're following all the rules and still not seeing the results you hoped for? 1. Understanding your body's response. Everyone's body responds differently to medications, including semaglutide. Some people might see rapid weight loss, while others may experience a slower process. This variation can be due to factors like genetics, metabolism, and even your starting weight. It's crucial to remember that weight loss is not a one-size-fits-all journey. 2. Diet and exercise matter. Yes, semaglutide can help with weight loss, but it's not a magic pill. It's designed to work best when combined with a healthy diet and regular exercise. If you're not seeing the scale move, take a closer look at your eating habits and physical activity levels. Are you consuming more calories than you're burning? Are you making nutritious food choices? Sometimes, small tweaks can make a big difference. 3. Patience is. Key weight loss can be a slow process, and sometimes the scale doesn't reflect all the hard work you're putting in right away. Don't get discouraged if you don't see immediate results. Consistency is essential. Stick with your medication, keep up with your healthy habits, and give your body the time it needs to adjust. 4. Medical Conditions and Medications There could be underlying medical conditions or other medications you're taking that might interfere with weight loss. Conditions like hypothyroidism or polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, can make losing weight more challenging. Make sure to talk to your doctor about any concerns you have and discuss all the medications you're on. They can help you navigate any potential obstacles. 5. Tracking progress beyond the scale. Remember, the scale is not the only measure of success. Are your clothes fitting better? Do you have more energy? Are you sleeping better? These are all signs that you're making progress, even if the scale isn't showing a significant drop in numbers. Celebrate these non-scale victories. They're just as important. 6. Adjusting your dosage. Sometimes, the dosage might need to be adjusted. If you're not losing weight on semaglutide, your doctor might need to tweak your dose. It's essential to follow your doctor's guidance and not adjust the dose on your own. They can determine the best course of action based on your progress and overall health. 7. Stay positive and persistent. Finally, stay positive and persistent. Weight loss journeys can be frustrating, but maintaining a positive outlook and staying persistent will pay off in the long run. Surround yourself with a support system, whether it's friends, family, or online communities, and keep pushing forward. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this helped you understand a bit more about why you might not be losing weight on semaglutide. Remember, it's a journey, and every step, no matter how small, is progress. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tips and advice, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay healthy and keep striving for your goals. Peace out.